franchise tag deadline has come and gone this afternoon, and the Vikings have done two things today that I think was highly anticipated. Number one, they chose not to use the franchise tag at all. None of the players, none of the free agents uh, that are currently uh, on the roster right now have been franchise tagged, and I think that that's a move that everybody saw coming because, number one, they're up against the salary cap. A franchise tag right now, for example, Anthony Harris, would cost them almost a little bit more than $13 million. He played on the franchise tag last year. It was an $11 million cap hit after the not disappointing but not very great season that he had. It's no surprise that he and or no one else uh, was franchise tagged. There's really no, nobody on the roster that's a free agent right now uh, that would have been worth that franchise tag. And it would have been difficult to get them under the cap considering as of right now, they're still about $4 million over. But the second thing that they did today uh, did help a little bit with that. And that is uh, releasing Dan Bailey, the kicker that we signed three years ago in 2018. And I'll never forget the day that we got him uh, because it felt like, damn, we're really making a run for the Super Bowl because it was also the same off season that we signed Kirk Cousins. And Dan Bailey just hasn't been as good as advertised, save for one season where he ranked, I believe, 15th out of 39 eligible kickers who had made five or more field goal attempts. Um, every other season that he's been here, he's been pretty close to dead last, and last year he was dead last, 38 out of 38 using those same measurements. But uh, the Vikings uh, releasing Dan Bailey will save them $1.4 million in cap space. Uh, they will incur, I believe, $2.1 million in dead money. Um, it turns out that the team and uh, wanted to restructure his contract, uh, according to text messages sent to the Pioneer Press by his agent, and it was the guarantee. It was the uh, 1.8 million guaranteed uh, money that was going to go into effect on March 19th. That was sort of the hurdle that they couldn't get over. So, Dan Bailey will be a free agent. Uh, they wanted to bring him back to compete with Carl Joseph, who is now the only kicker on the roster who is making less than a million dollars, and I believe his guaranteed salary is only 35000 So um, the Vikings will have to look elsewhere for a kicker, and uh, hopefully they're able to find one without using draft capital. I, I, I think, I, at least I hope Rick Spielman has learned his lesson about uh, using draft picks on kickers. But uh, this comes as no surprise, uh, as I said at the beginning. Because Dan Bailey's uh, season this year was just a complete meltdown in the second half. The first 11 games, he played pretty well. In the first 11 games, he was 10 for 12 on field goals. He was 26 for 27 on extra points. Then the last five games, which I believe began with the Tampa Bay game, where he just completely, completely melted down. 5 for 10 on field goals, 11 for 16 on extra points. Could not consistently hit his kicks. And uh, I believe at one point, we were all wondering why, after the Tampa Bay game... They didn't just cut him right there and leave him in Tampa. And I think a lot of that had to do with the season that we were going through, you know, the COVID protocols, how long it would take to get another kicker on the roster, get him through quarantine, all those other things. And I think they had a conversation after that game where they're like, look, let's just let's just ride this out, see if we can figure it out and go from there. Um, and it ultimately didn't work out. He just, you know, never really got better uh, as the season went on, as you could tell by the statistics. So that's going to do it for Dan Bailey in the era of Minnesota. And this feels like another, um, just another, you know, I don't want to, I don't really, really know what you want to call it, but just another step in the wrong direction uh, for Mike Zimmer in the special teams, who has had special teams inconsistencies his entire head coaching career uh, with the Vikings. And it's funny because the irony doesn't escape me and how, uh, he's always preaching consistency, especially on offense, right? Let's keep the same offensive line. Let's keep the same coaching staff. Let's keep the same philosophy. If we do things the same way every single year, we'll build continuity and consistency, and that will help us win football games. Whereas he's been through how many kickers since he's been here, right? Blair Walsh. Um, remember, they spent, um, uh, they traded a fifth round pick for that one kicker. I forget his name. Um, and then he didn't even last one, I think, like one month on the team. Uh, and then Daniel Carlson, the the complete disaster that that was, cutting him after one or two games, I believe. And now he's doing just pretty fine for the Raiders. So it, 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 it it's exciting to know that we are on the verge of introducing a new kicker to Minnesota and uh, beginning the end of his career, right? So raise your hand if you're excited to learn who it's going to be, uh, the, the next kicker that we're going to destroy in the city of Minnesota, because if there's one curse we can't seem to break, it's that one. 
So that's going to do it for Dan Bailey. As I said, Carl Joseph is now the only kicker on the roster, but I do anticipate that they'll bring in somebody else. There are some decent free agent kickers out there, but I doubt with the salary cap situation being what it is that they'll bring one in in free agency. So we're probably looking at like a seventh round pick or an undrafted free agent, which is uh, the route that I hope that they go, an undrafted free agent to bring in, compete with Carl Joseph, and then see which one wins the wins the job. Um a footnote on the special teams thing, it wouldn't surprise me if Britton Colquitt also gets cut here in the next week because he is also due a $1.8 million guarantee uh, on March 19th, and he had a subpar season last year too. I would be sad to see him go. I think he was kind of, um, you know, the reason that we had success uh, in the field goal game early on because he, he was a, just a different kind of uh, leader on special teams, especially for that unit. And uh, But I, I think his time is probably over in Minnesota as well, so... We're going to be breaking in a new special teams coach and a new kicker for the 2021 season, even though that doesn't feel like it matters that much. The special teams for the Vikings has been a thorn in their side, um, uh, very much so for the second half of 2020, and they need to get that figured out. So that's going to do it for this video. Dan Bailey is now a free agent, and we have franchise tag nobody. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.